Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. I welcome you to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we try to help you curate effective solutions to your computational modeling challenges. This is the next video in a series of videos that I'm making on Abacus tips and tricks. This video is dedicated to helping you extract a button that you will press that will automatically generate stress and strain data for you. And a lot of times students ask that question, so how do I plot stress and strain data so that I can compare that with my experimental result? And there's really no easy direct way of doing that except you go through certain processes and this is really what I'll be showing you in this video. So let's sit back and relax as we get started with this computational modeling. As we get started, the first thing to think about is what are the principles of what we are really trying to do. And I think the best way to get to start doing this is by looking at this statement that I've taken from a publication of mine. Again, if you do not know this, please, this is the book that I tend to refer to a lot of times in on this channel. And, and this is a textbook that I published with Simon a few years ago um, in 2018. So please, if you wanted to get hold of it. And the quotation that we're going to use for this is going to be taken from, um, I, I can't remember exactly which page it is. So, but this basically says, that talks about the principle of this volume averaging. So the parameter that we see here is equal to a sum of stress divided by the sum of the volume. So this is where the volume averaging. So basically you are summing up all the elements within the model and dividing it by the volume, the total volume in, in the component. So if we then extrapolate this and integrate that, you end up having this column value on that being the volume and then integral over that. So that's basically what the quotation says for us here. I mean, the information that I really want you to, to, to take note is the homogenized model variable is also called the volume average model variable. It can be stress, it can be strain, it can be temperature, it can be whatever properties you're looking for. So what we want to then do in order to extract stress and extract strain is to look into a numerical solution and determine this vol homogenized or volume average parameter and then put them all together to get our result. So the test case that we're going to do is perforated the um, block model that is undergoing a tensile deformation in this direction. So it's been put in this direction and it's got holes on all the three faces. And I've such I partitioned it already in order to allow for easy meshing of the model. So we've run a simulation on them and the idea is that we want to be able to generate this kind of stress strain data in this X direction. So how do we do this? So let's jump into Abacus and see how we can go about doing this. Okay, so here we are in Abacus and already I've run the simulation of this model and this is a von Mies stress. And but in order to show you exactly what the steps are in getting this, so let's, so I've created a demo model of the same system here. So within this demo model, two things you need to do first. The first thing is that under the set category, you of the perforated model, double click on the set and create what I'll call all elements, basically. And that all elements will include everything in the model because we want to volume average over all the elements in the model. So you create that set called all elements. These other bits are simply there to help you with applying boundary conditions onto the model. The material that we are using in this case is a steel material, okay, with a yield stress of 250 megapascal. Now, the other thing you need to create is the history output because this is what you're going to use. So we need to track the history output. So I'm going to call my volume average history output and what we want to track under this case would be the s11 value and the e11 value okay so obviously we need to change that to a set the set for all elements s11 and e11 value okay so we can open up here and select s1 for the stress in the one direction and the strain and select e1 for the strain in the one direction so once you do this basically within the model you are telling abacus to write output information about the stress in one one direction and strain one one direction for the element throughout to the end so and once we get that information we store it and we send it to run so at the end we submit using the force okay everything is done so submitted the model so if i just show you the results so if we so here are the results so how do we get then the stress strain data so we create output first the output will be based on the history variable so that history variable, you, so when you select that, it will load up all the information. 
Okay, within this history variable, you will notice that it has written to the all the elements. So you, you know, you click on the first one, and then find just somewhere around here. So here is the end of this. So you selected the first point, press Shift and Control down to select all of them. Now you need to save this data. So we will save it as an average. So I'm looking to find the average. So I'm going to call this my volume average of E11 uh, data and then click OK. It's a good thing to tick the plot option because the plot option then displays the result for you. OK, so we've plotted the, the strain versus time plot and it's just basically a straight line. So we'll go ahead and do the same for the stress. So we select the first S11 time, go to the end, press down, shift and control, select all of that, save as well using the average function. So this will be the VAS11 data. So again, select the plot option and click plot. Okay, so the stress um, versus time data has also been plotted. So we've got stress data, strain data as functions of time. Now what we need to do is, and they are volume averaged across the whole model. So the next thing we need to do is to operate on this data. So we operate on the XY data. So it comes up with this window. You just need to just go to where the combine option is. So that's the combine option. You're going to combine the X data, which is a volume data, double click on that. And then the stress data, double click on that. And then you plot the expression. So you now have a combined stress strain data, which is the main result that we want. But again, I always like to export my data into uh, into into Excel. So plugin tools, Excel data for this current plot. Click OK. So what this will do is that it will take this data and export it into Excel. So if we load the data that is exported, so it exports it in this normal format with the first column being stress and strain and then it generates this kind of plot. So I've taken that data and then I've remastered it and I've plotted it properly. So you get the strain data, the stress data as Pascal, but then I divide that same Pascal data with 1 million to give it a mega Pascal form. So you got the data here and then we plot them together, stress and get strain. So you get your data here. So I've also generated for this kind of material what the Young's modulus would be, which is the slope, you know, the linear, linear elastic region, and then as well as the strength, which is basically the ultimate tensile strength, which is the maximum stress in that region. So that's what we need to do. And this is how we can actually get our work done. Just to pick up on that, the final thing I need to say is that there are limitations to this method. There are limitations to this method. And the major limitation is that you're having to look at all the elements in the model. So if you have a big model that's got a lot of elements, like the example that I used should here had 11,000 elements, it takes quite a long time for the model to crunch through everything. And so it's not an optimal way to extract stress strain data. Usually what would be best for you to do is to select a region in the model and track the behavior of that region. So that will be the subject of another video that I'll be making where I'm showing you how to extract stress strain data, but based on a note set. So please do look out for that when it comes available. So thank you for your interest in this channel. And if you like this content, please do subscribe to this channel so that when contents like this are made, you'll be the first to see. Thank you very much and catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.